How to know if it is a cryptocurrency scam or not. Cryptocurrency scams are happening every day, and it's hard to know if you're getting scammed. In this video, I'll show you how to spot the signs of a scammer so that you don't get fooled. Hey, my name is Benjamin and I'm going to show you some tips about spotting cryptocurrency scams. It can be confusing with all these icons popping up, but there are some things that help identify them as frauds. So stay tuned for an easy way to avoid being taken advantage of by ICO scammers. You want to invest in cryptocurrency, but you don't know how to tell if it's a scam or not. There are a lot of red flags that can help you identify scams and avoid them. Here are some things to watch out for when looking for an investment opportunity. Our content will provide you with the knowledge necessary to make informed decisions about your investments and protect yourself from becoming the victim of a scam. Follow these guidelines and learn more about what makes cryptocurrencies so popular today. Hi, the CryptoCell is an education organization that helps newcomers learn about cryptocurrency investing so they can invest and trade responsibly and safely with our expert advice on diversifying your portfolio, buying low, selling high, and avoiding scams. Research the company's background. Research the company's background to see if it meets your criteria for accepting new clients. Does this organization have a good reputation in its field of expertise? Make sure that any project you get from them will be worth it before making an investment. Look at their social media presence. When you're looking for a job, it's important to take into account all aspects of the company and its employees. One way is by checking out their social media presence, check on sites like LinkedIn or Facebook, where managers often post about new initiatives that could be relevant in your field. This can give an outside perspective into what kind of workplace culture they have at work. Another thing I recommend doing before interviewing with any potential employers who interest me would be taking time from my busy schedule. Just chat them up over email while also getting some intelligence regarding how long-term projects go down, I always do it. Examine their website for any red flags, such as grammar or spelling mistakes. Have you ever seen a website with spelling or grammar mistakes I have, and it can be quite an eye-opening experience? The site might not seem genuine to the reader at first glance because they know how important communication on websites should really be for customers looking into buying something from this particular business product lot. Contact customer service to find out more information about how they work. The best way to start a conversation with customer service is by calling them. You should know that there are many types of companies and their representatives may not have the same policies in place, so it's important for you as a consumer or potential one to take your time finding out everything about what they offer before signing on any dotted lines. For example, a great first step would be speaking directly through email or chat software like Skype if available. This allows customers more control while also allowing businesses extra convenience because these services give employees helpful tools such as instant notifications when someone starts talking during conversations via text message which means no waiting around wondering why nobody responded back after making contact. Consider reaching out using whichever form works best for you. Just make sure to take your time, do proper research, and establish a connection with whomever you are communicating before making any decisions. Cryptocurrency scams are a real concern for new investors, but they don't have to be. By following these easy guidelines, you can avoid being scammed and make the right choice when investing in cryptocurrencies. The first step is research. Look at their social media presence on LinkedIn or Facebook pages before contacting customer service. The second thing to do is examine their website for any red flags such as grammar or spelling mistakes, which could indicate that it's not authentic. Finally, if there aren't any red flags, then send an email asking them about how they work and what risks may come with investment opportunities. If all of this sounds overwhelming and you want help enacting these principles, let us know our team of experts are ready and waiting to partner. If you're interested in learning more about how to invest in Bitcoin so it can be part of your diversified portfolio, then consider reading our free crypto investing ebook, which will teach you everything from a to Z. 
You may also want to look into other cryptocurrencies, such as Ethereum if you're looking for something else, worth investing in outside of Bitcoin. With all this information, we hope that we have helped make your decision easier when it comes down. Do you think cryptocurrency will eventually be regulated by authorities? Feel free to comment below. We can do more research on this topic with your information and send me an emoji below with the topic you're struggling with and would like to see more content about our experts will help you with that. This next video is going to be really cool and you should subscribe to my channel while it's still free. I think you can learn a lot from our experts and it would make me happy to have you as a part of my subscriber family. Feel free to share this with anyone you think might also enjoy it.